guys. So I have all my equipment. I think this bag weighs about 60 pounds. I have shovel, axe, sluice box, metal detector, all my crevicing tools, everything I'm gonna need. So let's see what I'm gonna get today. Hope that wasn't a bear. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Now, if you don't have these gloves, these are like my favorite gloves. They fit really tight and snug and you don't lose your sense of feeling in your fingers. You know how like some gloves could be really sloppy? Well, these aren't. They're by Cohart and you can pick them up at, um, what is it called? Uh, tractor Supply, yeah. Really durable, definitely good for climbing and gripping rocks. So these are the bomb. Let me show you how they fit. Nice and snug. No loose fingers. Grip all the way around. Amazing gloves. Lasts a long time too. On your way down, sometimes you run into interesting stuff like this and you think, hmm. I wonder if there's any gold in this quartz. Uh, you could tell that some of it still has the bedrock in it, like that piece. And you could see some pyrite. Um, definitely interesting. Look at that. Crystals. I will be taking you home with me. Oh, look at all this poison oak. But, uh, I don't know, I might be taking a better look at this one. I wish my, I don't know, kind of like that one. Yep. Wish I didn't have all my equipment tucked up in my backpack right now. What to do, what to do. Let's check it out. I'm going to check it out. I got to check it out. I'm going to detect right here and see if there's anything uh, giving a signal. Why not? I got a signal and I found this. Cool little tool. Let's see what else we can find right here while I pulled things out. I hate stopping. And I know where gold is, but you know, sometimes you just gotta check. Oh, looks like I found another pool. They must have been digging here, maybe for crystals, I'm thinking. That's a good freaking screwdriver though. That's a score. Yeah, it's a fucking Milwaukee. Look at that. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, I think this definitely was a crystal pocket. I mean, you can see crystals in this one. So, yeah, kind of cool. Alright, let's go check it out. <clears throat> Look at the ground. I ran into this Native American stargate. <laughs> so I'm on the other side now, and I noticed there's this is like a big quartz vein, pretty much, like right here. See? I wonder if that's what they were working. See, here's more quartz. The things you find in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> All right. Well, look at this.
It would happen to be a golden color, wouldn't it? Beautiful. Hi. Halfway down now and at the hydraulic pit side of it all. And although I like this place, it has a lot of bullets and a lot of nails and it's really time consuming. Um, so not today. I am sweaty, I'm hot, and I made it. Uh, this is the mountain that I have to climb. And now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be doing today. This is the bedrock that we found the gold on. That is the log. You can see the overburden on top of it, right? That's the log. You can see the dirt is right on the top of the log, but yet all of this right here is clean. So it's stopping some action from coming down this way. Now, if we could just loosen that up, get this out of here, we might see a lot of gold. I did find some pieces underneath that log, but it was really hard moving all that stuff. So I didn't get very far underneath the log. So. I'm gonna have to bring Doug, dig, 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 and um, Tiffany out, and hopefully we can find some more in this area. This is just gonna be another project for me, Tiff and dig, dig, dig. So like and subscribe, and maybe we'll hit this up in the future. Thank you.